so this is my vlog number three and we're inside the van this is my safety equipment I have one police taser scary right yeah I have two an air horn um, this is I've never tested it, but it uses the juice. I don't want to. And it's, uh, this is for scaring away anyone if they're messing with me. And they're just like a kid or something. And then I have three bear spray. <laughs> I know, this is a lot of stuff. Um, you just push the tab, pull it back, and then press the thing. And it's like industrial strength pepper spray bear deterrent magnum 290 it's fucking scary yeah and i have also right here butcher knife i know this seems excessive to you but and i i don't always keep it right there but it's right there right now i mean it's really handy like a giant knife i have other knives too but i mean honestly when you're a single female and you're traveling by yourself around the country, sometimes sleeping totally off the grid, you never know. The worst thing I feel like would be to be caught in a situation where you need it and you don't have something to protect yourself or don't know how to protect yourself. Um, I don't wanna be in that situation, so I'm not, I'm not going to be. There's no harm in having some safety stuff around for my protection. Bear spray's good anyways. Like, in the forest in Wyoming and stuff, going to the bathroom late at night. It's like, yeah, that's good to have. And uh, anyways, that's my safety equipment. Um, today is Wednesday, it's Ash Wednesday, which you're supposed to give something up. I'm not Catholic. I do like some Catholic things though. Like I have these really pretty candles. See, Virgin de Guadalupe and uh, I like to burn them when I say prayers and like create a little altar and um, probably gonna do that tonight. I am starting a 60 day challenge in yoga today. It's at four o'clock. Well, it's at 4.30, I have to be there at four. And um, I decided I'm gonna really turn my focus onto my yoga practice now. I got my reply from the Vipassana today. Um, they accepted me. That's January, February, March 1st. And Vipassana is a seated meditation. It's 10 days long. It's outside of Mumbai. And it's, um, yeah, you're seated for 10 days and you, you just meditate. And so I'm kind of scared of it, but I feel like it's going to be, everybody that does it, they, they don't regret it. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And then, um, I, uh, made a decision yesterday to break up with my boyfriend and I ended that relationship, um, which I cared deeply about, but it wasn't good for me. You know, I was not being treated the way I want to be treated and the um, compassion, you know, just wasn't there. And um, love, you know, love is gentle, love is kind, love is not boastful, love keeps no record of wrong. Um, it believes all, it trusts all, it um, overcomes everything, you know. Um, and if love's not there for me, um, if someone's not expressing me that they have this unconditional love for me and um, are kind to me and compassionate to me and um, allowing me to feel safe and allowing me to feel just good, you know, with my everything that I offer, you know, then, um, it's not good, you know, and that's okay. And, uh, and I, and I'm, I was going to move to India to 
do this whole thing and whatever and um, you know I'm pretty sad to walk away but I also feel like I have to love myself and um, you know I have to take care of myself and as, even if I love someone and um, I feel like the most kind thing to do for them would be to stay and to keep this person in my life um, I have to respect myself and be kind to myself too and if I am not being treated the way I deserve to be treated then I have to walk away no matter how much maybe this person does care about me or how much they're having their own things going on that I want to whatever I can't I can't continue to interact so yeah I I completely closed that door and it's staying closed I'm, I'm finished with that um, and I just wish the best for him and send him love if he ever sees this but um, um, yeah I Anyways, um, I'm probably going to be going through some stuff with that. I'll, if I say anything about it, I'll stay focused on myself and my feelings. Um, anyways, um, I have been applying um, to surf camps. I want to do a work trade to work at a surf resort um, somewhere. This has been like this idea that's been in my head for years now. And um, just today, after I ended this relationship that's had me in so much emotional turmoil, I um, I got word back from one of the camps, and um, it's beautiful. It's in the Mentawai Islands, and um, which the Mentawai Islands are very small. They're um, in Indonesia, um, below Sumatra, so um, it's the Indian Ocean, I believe, and it's gorgeous um, I want to do work trade with yoga I want to um, teach a surfing series in the morning with just lots of strong vinyasa lots of hip openers knee strengthening knee stretching um, shoulder exercises um, things like that um, so developing like a surfing series and then um, teach that in the morning and then do restorative at night and so I, I had mentioned that and they expressed an interest and um, contacted me so I have possibly that line out there I'm putting it out there that I'm available for this um, I'm just needing room and board in exchange and it has to be somewhere that has Wi-Fi as I'm um, in school gonna be in school and um, yeah so maybe this will pan out maybe it won't but it gave me a lot of hope today to kind of wake up to that and be like wow like you know um, I can just see myself in Indonesia like maybe like I can really see it clearly in my mind so I know it's possible I know I can manifest it because I have such a clear vision of it um, and yeah so just doing that um, taking care of a bunch of stuff I've had some health issues come up so Everybody, if you could keep me in your prayers, I'm sure it's nothing, but I'm going in to get everything checked and um, yeah, I'm just <sighs> moving forward, you know, trying to take steps, do the next thing and um, shut the doors that need to be shut and uh, create happiness in my own life because I deserve it. Um, I feel like we are all these children of God. Like I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the universe. I'm a spirit inside my body. My spirit is eternal. I don't deserve to be hurt. I don't deserve to be mistreated. I deserve to have the same love for myself that I would have for an innocent child. Like the, there's a child inside of me that is, I know I'm talking about inner child. It's like, fuck, you're talking about inner child. Like get off of it like it could be possibly annoying but like actually there's this spirit inside of me and it deserves to be loved I need to love that spirit inside of me and if if something is hurting that child if someone's abusing that child if that child is being treated 
like shit, then it's up to me to take that and protect it and move away from those situations that are gonna bring harm to the creation that I am. And you know, I, it's okay to do that. I love, I love myself enough to do that. And you know, um, yeah, I uh, am about to go to the beach. I'm gonna do a shell mandala meditation and then I'm gonna go to yoga. And uh, yeah, you guys, I guess you're gonna join me through my, um, through my 60 day challenge the next two months before I leave. Um, yeah, building myself up to go sit still for 10 days, <laughs> which is like really hard. So anyways, uh, well maybe it won't be hard. I shouldn't say that, that it's gonna be hard. I should say it's gonna be a new experience and keep my mind open to it. So anyways, uh, have an awesome day you guys.